What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Got some pretty big news today, especially with Musk experimenting on some pretty wild things. We've been hearing some wild stuff from Tesla recently and because they do a lot of ambitious products, because they like to take really aggressive steps forward, which is very different from other traditional car companies out there, this is why their market cap is so big to the point that if you combine all the other car companies in the world, it wouldn't even equal close to what Tesla is. We've been seeing some pretty cool stuff with Tesla, like the Roadster, Cybertruck, cars that we don't really expect. For example, Cybertruck, everyone was expecting perhaps a regular truck that's fully electric, but it literally looks like something from a sci-fi movie. Now Musk is pretty serious about making the Tesla Roadster, this $200,000 electric supercar hover with this rocket technology. This isn't anything super new. Since Musk, if you check out this Twitter tweet from 2019, someone did ask about a Tesla Roadster hover test. Musk did say that maybe at the end of next year, but that's a maybe. So 2020, December, it passed. Nothing really happened. No one was really talking about the hovering Tesla Roadster. I think a lot of people are just super interested in the car sales and whether or not if Tesla hit 500,000 vehicles delivered. But Musk, in the most recent Joe Rogan podcast, he said that Tesla is planning to incorporate this rocket technology to make the vehicle hover. I know that sounds pretty crazy, but Tesla is probably one of the weirdest companies on the market. I've never really seen a car company that's managed this uniquely. They have a lot of unique things. For example, if you go to their dealerships, you can't actually negotiate on the price. And you can also buy a car and they'll ship it directly to your door. And their vehicles are fully electric and they also have you know, different price cuts, you know, they have autopilot. It's a totally different experience. And during this interview, Musk said that he wants to be throwing some rocket tech in the car, making it hover, but they gotta figure out to hover without hurting people. On top of that, if you hover too high and then you blow the suspension after you plummet, you're not gonna get hurt. So you gotta be very careful, put a height limit on this. And this is really giving me like back to the future vibes right here and same thing with a lot of people. Musk also confirms that if you're going pretty fast, you're gonna be time limited. You gotta be, be pretty careful. Hey, I think Musk and also Tesla could definitely be coming out with this vehicle very soon. I think he's pretty serious about it. I think when Tesla puts their mind into a specific concept, they could definitely do it. Plus they have billions and billions of cash on hand and a massive market cap. So spending like a few million dollars just to get some SpaceX guys over to the Tesla team and make this hovering roadster could not only be like a really cool thing, but could definitely be like a good publicity thing because then Tesla will be landing on like the news pages of every single like engineering newspaper, even everyday news places like CNN, CNBC, et cetera. So it's gonna be very nice. It's probably not gonna be street legal. I think Tesla will just probably make a one or two of these hovering Teslas and that's about it. It's probably not gonna be on sale. And even if it's on sale, it's gonna be commanding an extraordinarily high price tag, maybe half a million to $700,000 is my estimate. But even then, you're gonna be having a few rich people buy this. If they come out of this this year, it's probably not gonna be street legal. Even if they have it, no one could probably test drive it. And it, this is something that the government has never seen before. So it's gonna be pretty unique. Next up is Tesla chargers are coming to a lot of different locations. With Tesla's charging network becoming bigger and bigger, a lot of individuals are becoming more satisfied with what Tesla's doing. But there's also some individuals out there who are like, okay, I wish it was even more charging stations for Teslas. Well, if you're one of those guys, you're in luck today because Tesla connectors are coming to over 600 EVgo charging stations. If you guys don't know who EVgo is, these guys are a massive company. They essentially have a ton of different charging networks. I guess you would somewhat consider them third party networks. And a lot of other companies like Volkswagen, Honda, Toyota are working with a lot of these third party companies because they themselves do not have their own charging stations. Tesla is one of the rare companies on the market that has their own charging stations for Tesla vehicles. In the US, Tesla, you could use like different adapters and connectors and fit it into these third party charging stations and your car will charge fine. It's pretty nice, and I feel like Tesla and EVgo will be having a very good partnership. Last year, 2020, EVgo announced that it will be deploying Tesla connectors nationwide in their charging stations. It's gonna be pretty big because I think they know that Tesla vehicles are being bought at a rapid pace, but they wanna make more money. The best way to do things is simply get a Tesla vehicle and get Tesla consumers into the charging stations to make more money. 
This is pretty beneficial for the consumer because they finally have more charging stations. Instead of being restricted to just the Tesla superchargers, which in some locations there's only a few, and sometimes they're placed in locations that it's very not really accessible, especially some people live in apartment complexes. There's already a lot of landlords right now who are constructing multifamily apartment buildings. They are using EVgo fast charging stations and deploying them in the parking lots and the garages which would definitely attract a lot of clients and also renters that have very high salaries because you kind of have to be pretty rich to buy a Tesla Model 3, even though it's the entry vehicle. So it's looking pretty good for the car company. On top of that, Tesla is also expanding their own supercharging network and possibly even rent out their charging stations to other car companies like Porsche Titan, BMW, Mercedes-Benz has come out of the EQ series. It's looking pretty appealing. And most of these car companies going electric are not focusing on battery production or charging stations. So far, Tesla has a factory right next to the Shanghai factory in China that only produces the supercharger V3 stalls. You heard that right. It's an exclusive factory that's not available anywhere else, not even domestically here in the US. It's a factory that literally only pumps out V3 superchargers, makes 10,000 superchargers every single year and deploys them in Chinese highways and cities, and eventually it gets to a certain point where Tesla will start renting out these superchargers to other car companies like Neo, XPIM, Mercedes, etc. Musk has also talked a lot about how he really wants to do this because that will make Tesla not just a car manufacturer, solar company, battery company, autopilot company, also makes it more of an EV charging station company, and that's pretty appealing. Tesla got some ambitious projects coming up, and especially in the world of money, charging stations, batteries. They're doing pretty well. I mean, the market cap is pretty massive. If they really want to raise more capital, maybe do another stock offering. And who knows, the Tesla stock price is going up so high and so much to the point that they might even need to do another stock split because it's getting really close to a thousand bucks. And I'm really curious to see how Tesla could pull off this Tesla Roadster. Now, a lot of the things that Musk talks about on Twitter and the things that he promises on social media usually comes true. Like a lot of times he talks about full self-driving beta, Robo taxis, different cars, variants, a cheaper variant, etc. Sometimes they're kind of delayed, but usually when Musk gives you like a specific date or a time frame, he does do it. And keep in mind that this is one of the few companies out there who are very ambitious, making electric vehicles when no one really thought Sears about them. And I remember like a couple years ago, Tesla wasn't really a big thing. Their share price and market cap was super small. And now, I mean, they're about to hit a trillion dollars market cap with so many different products. Really curious about what they're doing. And we should be seeing more autopilot updates on a constant basis. They're updating the full self-driving beta every five to 10 days, something like that. And we should be seeing more information on the Tesla Roadster. We're also getting more leaks about different Tesla variants, including an upcoming Tesla electric van, which Tesla themselves are pretty interesting in making. I think with Tesla making all these different vehicles, we should be seeing them headed towards different markets like acquiring other small electric vehicles and perhaps making more logistics vehicles because the logistics industry is pretty profitable. Thanks for watching and comment below.